just about in the driveway. I'm there at the moment. We've got to go down there. Today's load. Much more peaceful in here. Anyway, good morning everyone. Welcome back to a new video. Ryan, you call me at the most awkward time. Ryan, I am vlogging. Let me ring you back. Okay. Okay, good day now. Goodbye. Just pulled into a lay-by to check the straps. Obviously, got quite a lot of weight on the rear. Not overweight, but quite a lot of weight. And uh, my brakes were a bit hot, so I've just stopped to let them cool down and, and chill out for a minute. We are due at our first delivery at about 20 past nine. Unfortunately, I can't record this one. But don't worry, we now know that this is not the only day I'll be recording. But the next delivery I've got after this looks like a pretty nice place. So fingers crossed, it's not too bad. Never been to the village before, never heard of the village before. I'll let you know all them when I get to it. Let's hope for a good day. Today's Tuesday and the current time is 10 past nine. So let's go. See if anyone's gonna let me out. Forward slowly anyway. I think that van has. Thank you very much, kind sir. Appreciate it. P.S. Guys, the Discord uh, server is now live. Trucking out, come up with a logo for it and everything. Um, started yesterday, and honestly, the guys that are in it at the moment, great bunch of lads. Um, just having a good chat at the moment. If you are interested, drop your Discord down below, and I'll drop you a message. And of course, remember, if you're looking for cheap CPC courses, driver hire training. I've got you covered. All my links will be down below in the description. A lovely green and white Volvo behind me. I'm gonna let him pass that shit just so I can just so I can see it. <laughs> Woo! Look at that. Whoa, beautiful. Come on in my friend. Come on in. Well, we've done that delivery. That is all well and done now, all sorted. That was actually quite a bit that come off the truck. Um, looks a lot more when it's on the ground to be honest because obviously on the truck it's all stacked up But yeah, look looked looked really nice on the ground and the, and the customer was happy as per usual uh, We've got about 25 minutes till we get to our delivery uh, We're due there at like Nearly half 11. I've only got two lifts to come off. So I'm actually thinking of just taking my 45 minute break on my way back to the yard. Uh, we'll see how we go we'll see our driving time and stuff like that but we're definitely going to need a break by one so as long as i do that i'm good and obviously being in cornwall i'm not going to be disappointed for views that's for sure i've changed my mind gonna stop for a 15 minute break here i thought it was a nice little labor actually <sighs> Not a bad little spot to stop, I think. Uh, this is the rest of our load. This is what's going to this Cornwall drop. Yeah, nice little lay by actually. Seems quite peaceful. And there is the beast in all its glory. She is looking as good as she ever, ever has done, to be honest. Got new flags in the window. They're from the truck show. I think they're from Truck Fest. Yeah, Truck Fest Southwest. Quick 15 minute break here. Uh, I'm going to phone the customer as I'm leaving the lay-by. I'm about 15, 15, 20 minutes away. Right, there we go. The road into, I can't pronounce it very well, Fowey. Fowey. Doesn't look too bad. I think we're actually 
we're not actually going into the town or the village or whatever it is. I think we're actually delivering on the main stretch in, so shouldn't be too bad. Uh, I put a message in the chat that I was going to this place in the new Discord chat, Truck and L, and one of the members, Callum, he uh, he said one of his mates lives there. So yeah, random, random as anything. Small world, but there you go. One of the guys in the in the Discord chat, he's a driver in Norfolk. I'm from Norfolk. <laughs> it's, just, it's just weird. But yeah, I'm enjoying the drive-in so far. Hopefully it just doesn't get any worse. <laughs> Look at that bloody wind turbine. He's having a right good time. Uh, we'll make it. We've got the tag axle up, maybe. Oh, oh, okay. That was actually a lot better than I thought it was going to be. That's fine. <laughs> there he is. Lovely jubbly. All right, boss. Now, so yep. we'll yeah, that's cool. Uh, what, I'm, what I'm thinking, if I turn around there, yep. so I'm facing this way, once I'm done then I can just drive straight off yeah, yeah. and that way I'm not holding it. Can you reverse them. into drive? You'll get in there, we get dumpers on there. Because if I can drive in, that'd be better. So I need to turn around here. This is, he's just said this is the best spot to turn around in. I'm literally just ha delivering to that house there. But he wants me to try and drive in. There's no way I'm reversing in that because I won't have any steering space at the front. Ideally, I want to drive in. So he's going to move that car. That way, if I need to cut that corner up a little bit, then that'll be good for me. Yeah, I'm literally having to shunt it around into this space. I have to just keep shunting until I'm round that corner. <laughs> I'll get round, I know I will. So this is a little setup. Pulled right up to the house. Just about in the driveway. But yeah, gonna get the crane out and dump all this over that side. Lift it up and walk around here, but I've got to try and uh, squeeze past the bushes. I don't want to show too much of the house, um, but yeah, that's where I needed to drop it. He was really, really happy with that, actually. Um, he didn't think I'd be able to reach over there, but I did. And the guy's just gone off to make me a coffee, so happy days. Glad I wasn't lifting anything heavier, because that started sinking, so. Just got to pat the crane away now, so. Oh, hard hat to make my head so sweaty. Do you know what? Just had a coffee off the bloke. Stick that axle up and uh, he's now watching me back. So yeah, after making me a coffee, he's watching me back now. That's how much leeway I've got. And he's waving me back. Luckily his gate posts, my mirrors go over them so they won't actually catch his gate posts. Lovely mate, have a good one. There we go, delivery done. We are good to go. So, I'm gonna rate my customer. I got there, I phoned up before, he told me he'd wait for me on the road. I got there, he was waving me down. Pulled in, very talkative, asked me if I could do something. He said, don't worry, if not, I did what he wanted me to do. Made me a coffee and then watched me out on the road. He is getting a 10 out of 10. I'm sorry. He deserves it. Anyway, back to Devon we go. We are, we do need to stop for a half an hour break on the way back, I think. Actually, I think we might be all right. We're only on one hour, 50 minutes driving. I think it's an hour and a half's drive from here. So we might actually make it back without any issues whatsoever. And look, more sheep. 
They love their sheep round here, don't they? I have to say, though, I'm a bit of a lamb guy myself, I have to say. Back to Devon we go. Awesome day. What a good day it's been. Right, we are coming out of this junction. I'm just going to wait for this car to come past me so I can pollute. Just in case I need to take up some of his lane, which... No, I didn't really. That's fine. I really like this place. I've never been here before, but I definitely want to come here again. And we're back at the yard. Well, nearly. Just over there. It's been quite a tiring drive, to be fair. I've struggled. Um, at one point, I felt like I was drifting a bit, so I stopped, pulled over, and I just sat back for a minute. And I was just like this. Oh, my God, I'm so tired. But... After that, I got up, I got out and walked around as well. And after that, I felt fine. But yeah, it was definitely a tiring drive back, to be honest with you. Just pulling into the yard now, though. Lovely jubbly. Oh, PSB, oh, PSB. Zach's just moved that truck, and I get to park mine there now. Oh, it'd be a shame if someone hit that Tesla. <laughs> I really am joking. Seriously, I'm joking. I'm tucked away now, so I might just stay here till five. No, this is Zach's run for the morning. Lovely looking load. I will show you my load for the morning. Pretty cool, actually. That is what I'm curious about. I'm wondering, uh, hopefully, if they'll stay like that. Tomorrow I'm off to uh, Somerset. I can't remember where. But Somerset somewhere. That's where I'm going. I believe that's going to a construction site. And that's also going to a site, but it's actually like a block of flats or something. So let's judge Zach's parking. Oh, Zachara. I see contact there, and I see contact there. <sighs> On that note, though, I'm going to pack up. I've got some stuff to do in the yard, and then I will see you in the morning. Yeah, cool. Look at the red glow. I love it. Oh, it's too early. It's not too early. It's normal starting time, but I'm so tired. There we go. We put the red lights on. It is glowing in here. The red light district is open for business. Right, I've charged up the battery. My battery died, don't blame me. It died on 35%, so make that make sense. Off we go for another day on the road. And I can't lie to you, I am liking these foggy mornings. Right, we are coming off the motorway in six and a half miles. I've got to ring the guy in a minute and tell him, because I've rang the customer en route to delivery. Apparently I will not fit my truck down this road. So on the basis that I can't fit my truck down the road, no, I can fit it down the road, I just won't be able to get it inside. So I think he's gonna get some of his lads to meet me on the road that leads into the site and we're gonna handball them the fence panels or crane the fence panels onto the transit or something. And then they can take them into site. So that way I don't have to go in, which is cool. Well, this is the area I'm in. I'm not unloading here, don't worry. I've actually got a, uh, the road is about five, six hundred yards down there. I've pulled over because I've spoken to the guy and he said his lads aren't there yet, so just give him a minute. And I don't want to pull into the road, end up blocking the road off or whatever, um, waiting. So I've just pulled over into the first lay-by that I came past. And this was this one. And it's actually quite a big lay-by for such a... A, like a small area. On that note though, I think I'm gonna go pee pee and I will see you in a bit. Hi buddy, it's James. Hey, Alright, I'm just about to turn into the street now, alright? Alright, I'll get the boys 
Nice one, mate. Cheers, buddy. Right, we are taking a right in a minute. Uh, here, by the looks of it. It's going to be fun, isn't it? Some scaffolding there, though. On this corner, looks like it's quite a tight turn. Well, I got my Google Maps on because uh, I wanted specifics, but yeah, the road doesn't look fun at all. It's one of them roads where I just don't want to carry on too much and regret it, but the guy's getting his guys to come down and meet me, so. I don't want to just sit here in the road, though, that's the thing. I don't want to just sit here in the road. It looks all right. If I have to reverse out a bit, it's not the end of the world. Progress on a little bit more and see how we get on. Always get out and have a look, you know? Might be wrong. The bend might look bad from here, and I might, but it might not be bad at all. Like I said, it might be all right. It looks a bit narrow, but nothing too serious. I just don't know how far I want to progress on. That's the only thing. I'm there at the moment. We've got to go down there. But again, I don't know if there's anywhere to turn around down there or anything. You know, I think I'm just gonna hang it out for a sec, and hopefully somebody turns up. If not, I'll just start going down. All right, we are commencing on down the road. So I just spoken to the guys. They reckon I'll be all right. I don't know. Um, I think I think I will be. It just all depends, really, doesn't it, really? <laughs> you don't know until you get there. That's the issue. You don't know until you're there. Bit of a nasty bend here, but again, I think this is, I think this is the worst bend. only thing I'm nervous about turning around but we drove down here so worst comes to worst it will be reversing out but it does look like it's opening a little bit more down as we've got down to the bottom so yeah it doesn't look too bad certainly not one of the worst places I've been to by a mile so <laughs> I'm just grateful that the guys came up up, up to the top and met me, that's all. I haven't managed to record any of this, but this is the area. Look at that, a beautiful area. I'm supposed to go in there. Um, I'll zoom right in so you can see. That's where they're doing the work, but I can't get a lorry over there as you have to come in through here and round that bend. So we've offloaded everything by hand and dumped it in there and that white van is sorting it all out now. I've got a reverse out of here now. That's the way out. Luckily, the lads were really, really nice, so really nice, really helpful. But yeah, there's the fence panels anyway. Right, Cheers, buddy. Have up. a good one. And now we just got to drive out of here. There's a ditch that side of the road, so I've got to really keep close to my right side here. And I'm going to close the window for that. Yeah, not too bad in the end, not too bad. See, at the end of the day, all I care about is making sure that the customers are happy and that they've got all their stuff that they need, you know? It's, that's, that's, that's mainly what I care about. Um, everything is loose on the back of the lorry, um, so I'm driving out of here really, really slowly, and I'm going to stop just up here to strap everything down. And there we go. Part of that. Now I can restrap everything down. The absolute filth of it. Right, so yeah, what I'm talking about loose stuff, that, that pallet up there, that needs to be moved back here and strapped um, and just basically put my ratchets away. I've redone these two, so that wasn't loose and that's fine as well. Yeah, just like roll my strops up, put all this crap away basically. I was pretty happy with how that one turned out. <sighs> back to normality, back to main roads now on the way to the next drop and uh this one shouldn't take too long actually because it's, it's just a couple of lifts off with the crane oh i am reversing into my last drop of the day i can't really show much as uh well it's a very highly uh highly monitored area so like health and safety and stuff so i don't want to record too much at all really but this is how close i am to the vehicles Got a little bit of a gap and a little bit of a gap that side. But luckily, I'm just dropping it past that grey car there. Ooh. Right, that is done. I would show you, but I don't want to. I am very impressed with myself, actually, because that took me from unstrapping, so I had three lifts, unstrapping, lifting, and putting the crane away 
14 minutes. And now we've just got to come back out of here. I'm not going to lie to you though. Reversing down was actually easier than driving in. I don't know why, it just was. Well, I am glad I'm not craning off anymore. I'm glad I'm driving behind the bloody steering wheel. <laughs> it has been hammering it down. It's not so bad now, but it's been hammering it down with rain. And I'm just toddling on back to the yard. I mean, you won't really see this, but I'm pretty sure I've got an Arctic run up to Bristol tomorrow. So it'd be nice to be back in the Arctic again. Although I do love this gal. I love being back in the rigid. Um, I love being in the Arctic, don't get me wrong, but sometimes you just gotta accept that it's not gonna be an everyday thing. Back in the yard. Ooh. I, I don't think he should be here, but that is a nice truck. They are loading the Arctic for tomorrow. I uh, don't know what's happening, whether I'm swapping the Volvo over with the Scania or not. And there's Zachara there, waving. He spotted me, cheeky little bugger. With your wellies on, you're a, you're, you look like an apprentice farmer, Zachara. Um, but yeah, I've just put it on half an hour break because I'm going to, I am going to go and make my pot noodle. Do you like that truck though? That's a nice lorry. We are done. It is currently 10 to five. I'm just having a cheeky biscuit before I leave work. And I need to take my taco out. My charger. Yep, heading up to Bristol in the Arctic tomorrow. Annoyingly, I've got the curtain cider on. I hope you did enjoy today's video. I appreciate everyone. Um, appreciate everyone joining. Uh, joining me on this journey, as per usual. Appreciate everyone and, and the time that you take to watch my videos. Remember guys, if you are interested in joining the Discord, make sure you add me on Discord, which is at Trucking with James. Give me a message. All I need to know is why you would like to join the Discord and your date of birth. Just trying to think of if I've forgotten anything. I don't think I have. I need my identity plate though. But yeah, finish up for the day. And there is the beast. The beast is waiting for me. I'm just gonna dump my stuff in it and pack up for the rest of the day. Right, we are in the Volvo. Lovely, lovely. Work phone, all good. Got everything I need for tomorrow. Yeah, I haven't been in here for a for a little while. Remember guys, if you want to start your HGV journey, you need to get your medical and your CPC sorted. Links will be down below in the description. D for drivers and driver hire trainer have got you sorted. I'm gonna go for the now, but I hope you did enjoy the video. I'll catch you in the next one. Ciao, ciao for now.